Hey, what's up you guys? My name is Tyler Ruggie and for today's video we're going to be talking about why air quality is so important for birds. Now this video will be very good for you if you have any pet birds or if you know anyone with pet birds because believe it or not, a lot of people who have birds actually don't know this about birds and that is that they have very, very sensitive respiratory systems and there are a lot of things that they can be exposed to in your household that doesn't necessarily affect people, but it can be extremely, extremely harmful to birds and even deadly if you're not paying close attention to things you're doing in your house around your birds. Birds have really sensitive respiratory systems to the point where if they're exposed to really low air quality in your home, it can actually lead to respiratory infections or even possibly death. And this happens actually pretty frequently where people's pet birds will just turn up dead out of nowhere. But in reality, a lot of the time it is actually due to poor air quality in the house or using things around your birds that are harmful to them. So I'm going to be sharing with you guys some tips on things you can avoid and also what you can do to improve air quality in your home. Now the number one thing you need to do to make sure your bird is safe is keep your bird away from the kitchen. There are a lot of harmful things that come from the kitchen that you wouldn't normally think of that can actually be deadly to your birds. First thing being non-stick cookware, especially things like Teflon, extremely toxic for birds. When these things heat up, they release fumes that will actually be extremely harmful to your bird. And if your bird is exposed to these fumes, in an area that isn't well ventilated for an extended period of time, it could literally kill your bird. So do not use nonstick cookware in your kitchen if you have a bird. In general, just keep your bird away from the kitchen. Next thing in your kitchen that is actually harmful to birds is self-cleaning ovens. Ovens are coated with different things and when you put your oven on self-cleaning mode, it pretty much heats up the oven to an extremely hot temperature to a point where your oven starts releasing fumes that can actually kill your bird. And you might not even know it, you might not even smell anything weird, and it might not make any difference to you, but it, like I said, will be deadly to your bird. So keep your bird out of the kitchen, and not only because of those two things, but even if you just burn something while you're cooking and it produces a lot of smoke, if your bird is exposed to that, it can really damage their respiratory system. The next thing you need to avoid is cleaning products. This one is something that's really important to pay attention to. If you're cleaning anywhere in your house, around your bird, cleaning your bird's cage or anything, not only do you wanna make sure it's extremely well ventilated, but don't use any cleaning products that contain any harsh chemicals, so no ammonia, no bleach. In general, I wouldn't recommend using any cleaning products unless they're all natural. And to be on the safe side, a lot of people actually prefer to create their own cleaning products. I know a lot of people like to clean with vinegar and they find that it works really well. Next thing you need to avoid is personal hygiene products. So things like cologne, perfume, hairspray, anything like that that produces fumes, not good for your bird. So don't use it around your bird. Anything like that that has fragrances in it, you want to avoid. And not only that, but you want to avoid air fresheners. So anything you spray in the air to make your room smell good, you don't wanna use that around your bird. Candles, incense, wax melters, none of these things should be used around your bird. So if you can take anything from this video, don't use anything that produces fumes or has really heavy fragrances around your birds. And also you really heavily need to keep in mind the kitchen thing I said, because that's something people don't normally think of. And this should be extremely obvious, but do not, use paint around your birds. If you're painting an area of your house, if it's a large portion of your house, I would probably recommend moving your bird out of your house and keeping it at a friend's house or a family member's house until your house is done being painted and there's no more paint smell because paint is extremely, extremely toxic. The fumes from paint isn't even good for people, so it's even worse on birds. And like I said, it can even kill your bird, which sounds dramatic, but I actually know someone whose bird died from paint fumes, so you don't want to do that. In general, it's extremely important to make sure the air quality in your house is top notch. Now, 
and Gypsy just decided to leave us. I'll get her later on. So if you wanna see Gypsy again, you're just gonna have to stick to the end of the video. <laughs> Maintaining really high air quality in your house is not only important for your birds, but it's also important for your very own health. In order to maintain air quality in my house and make sure that it's as good as it can possibly be, I use a Lavoy air purifier. I use the Lavoy LV PUR131 air purifier in my bedroom and it works amazingly. For anyone who's new to my channel, I have a lot of animals in my bedroom. I have snakes, lizards, a hedgehog, even a couple small fish tanks. So my room does not smell good all the time. There are a lot of different smells coming from different places and it's not always the most pleasant thing ever. But ever since I put the Lavoy air purifier in my bedroom, my room has not smelled at all whatsoever. And I am not exaggerating when I say that. I do not smell anything and it's honestly insane. So how the Lavoy air purifier works is there's a HEPA filter and there's also an activated carbon filter. With these filters, the Lavoy filters out any large particles in the air, any pollen, mites, dust, anything like that. And with the activated carbon, it absorbs any odors that are in the air. And this could be things from like animals to even things like if someone is smoking in your house, it will absorb any of the odors. So the Lavoie air purifier I use has three different speeds. On the first speed, you can barely even hear it. On the second and third speed, it gets a little bit more loud, but it really isn't very bothersome at all. And there's even an automatic feature on the air purifier where it can detect the air quality in the room. And based on the air quality, it will decide which speed it should go on. Now, when I use it, it nine times out of 10 is always on the very first speed because the air quality in my house isn't really bad at all. But I know for a fact that this works because when I have my African gray gypsy around my bedroom, it starts to kick up in speed because gypsy actually produces a lot of dust. African grays are very dusty birds. So the air purifier actually detects that there's a lot of dust in the air and it starts to go and work harder to remove all the dust from the air. And the reason why I place the air purifier in my bedroom is because when I take my birds out of their cages to spend time with them, I'm usually with them in my bedroom. So I want to make sure the air in my bedroom is really, really clean, especially with all of the animals that are in my bedroom. Gypsy is just climbing up the tripod. <laughs> um, come here, Gypsy. And what's also really nice about the Lavoy air purifier is there's also a sleep mode. So if you keep it in your bedroom, you can put it on sleep mode and it will produce as little noise as possible just in case you're a light sleeper. I personally don't have to use the sleep mode because on the automatic mode, when it's on the first speed, I can't even hear it anyways. And then there's also an option to turn off the display if you don't want any lights showing on the air purifier. Another thing I love about the Lavoy purifier is you can put it right up against the wall and it doesn't take up very much space. And to change the purifier filter, you just have to remove the back panel and remove the filters and then you place in the two new filter cartridges and then you just snap the back panel back on. Overall, I would highly recommend the Lavoy air purifier. And if you guys wanna check it out, I'll leave a link down below so you guys can purchase it. I would highly recommend it. Not only if you have birds, but even if you have any other animals that are a little bit smelly in your house or in general, if you just want to improve the air quality in your home, it works very well. I'm super impressed with the air purifier and I would highly recommend it. And I would like to give a huge thanks to Lavoie for sending me an air purifier to help me with my birds. So yeah, that is it for today's video. If you guys liked it or if you found it helpful, make sure to give it a big thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel. I post videos every week and also please subscribe and also don't forget to subscribe to my vlog channel. I've been posting there several times a week, so I'll link that down below as well. Check me out on all my social media. Those will be linked down below as well. And I'll see you guys in my next video and say goodbye to Gypsy.